My lab is doing translational science. So what we do, we take exciting new developments in biology and try to apply them into a clinical setting, something that helps eventually patients. So it's really from bench to bedside research that we're doing. Such techniques are CRISPR-Cas uh, genome engineering, which is a very exciting new way of uh, modifying the genome in, in a better sense so that we can eventually help patients to correct their disorders. Currently it's a very exciting phase in science because we have now a lot of new tools for genome engineering. It started with zinc finger nucleases, tal talons and also now with CRISPR-Cas. CRISPR-Cas has really the big advantage that it's very, very efficient, way more efficient than all the other tools and techniques that we had previously. So CRISPR-Cas is a bacterial system that is cutting the DNA very efficiently and the advantage is you can design it as the zinc fingers and talons, you can design it towards a sequence, virtually any sequence in the genome. Metabolic pathway reprogramming has, has the advantage that it corrects on the genetic level. And if we look what what is out there in terms of drugs, the best drugs are actually inhibitor of some sort of a enzymatic um, action of, of an enzyme. But the problem is that you take those pills and th then you have systemic effects of the pills. Usually the block is not complete because it's a pharmacological block. So we reasoned, why don't we try to block those enzymatic functions by a genetic deletion, an organ-specific genetic deletion. So tyrosinemia type 1 is a lethal condition. What we did is we reprogrammed, rerouted the tyrosine catabolism and blocked further upstream on a non-toxic gene which leads them to a benign condition. It's also tyrosinemia, but one that has virtually no symptoms. And we could correct that in the liver specific in this tyrosinemia type 1 animal model. What we're now planning to do is to take this a step further and do the whole genome engineering in the human setting.